month of November is a somber time in Vukovar as locals remember the fall of the eastern Croatian town to Serb forces on November 18, 1991 and the exodus of refugees that followed. There will be many commemorations over the next few days honoring the soldiers who fought in the battle and civilian casualties. Several homeland war groups have already started laying flowers and wreaths at the Memorial Cemetery. Tonight, candles will be lit throughout the country at 6 p.m. in memory of all those who died in Vukovar. Skabarnia is also marking a painful anniversary this weekend. The northern Dalmatian village is where one of the early atrocities of the homeland war took place. 43 civilians and 15 Croatian soldiers were killed by rebel Serb forces and the JNA. The victims were honored today by President Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic, who placed a reef at a memorial marking the mass grave where the victims were buried. Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and fellow EU leaders are gathered in Gothenburg, Sweden for a social summit focusing on jobs and growth. The summit is expected to officially adopt the European Pillar of Social Rights, a document outlining 20 key principles and rights from equality and inclusive education, fair working conditions, gender equality, fair wages, affordable child care to minimum income. Businessman Milan Lucic, who is one of five suspects in a bankruptcy fraud and judicial corruption investigation, has returned from Austria. He will be questioned by anti-corruption prosecutors who will then decide whether to seek detention for the suspect. Lucic is implicated in a conspiracy case involving a bankruptcy manager, a commercial court judge and two other suspects arrested on Tuesday. Around 100,000 Croatian farms who qualified for financial support will begin receiving their advances on Monday. Croatia will pay out 922 million kuna in 2017, which is 116 million more than last year. The money was drawn from the European Agricultural Guarantee Fund. All of the funds should be paid out by the end of the month. Marin Cilic was eliminated from the ATP World Tour Finals by Roger Federer on Thursday. The Swiss beat Cilic by a score of 6-7, 6-4, 6-1 in round three of the Becker Group. This was Cilic's third time at the Masters Finals. He lost all three of his matches this time around in three sets. Today's forecast calls for cloudy skies with some occasional drizzle. Higher elevations may see some sleet and snow, especially in the evening and overnight. The coast will stay mostly dry and partly to mostly sunny. There will be a moderate to high northeasterly wind on the coast with very high gusts in the Velebit area. The day's highs will range from 3 to 8 degrees in the interior and from 13 to 18 on the coast. Similar weather is expected in the interior on Saturday. It will be slightly less cloudy in the afternoon. Frost and fog are expected Sunday morning, followed by variable clouds with a chance of light rain in the valleys and snow in the mountains later in the day. Monday morning will be quite cool, but sunnier skies are expected during the day. The coast can expect partly sunny weather over the weekend. Sunday will be variable with some passing rain. Monday will be mostly sunny. Winds will fall on Saturday and shift to a northwesterly. Temperatures will drop a bit further by Monday. Thank <laughs> you.